Hello everyone. Let's have today scientists of modern India. G N Ramachandran. G N Ramachandran was born on 8 October 1922 in Ernakulam, Kerala. His father G Narayan Iyer was the principal of Maharaja's College in Ernakulam. Ramachandran did his intermediate from Maharaja College and his B.Sc honors in physics from Saint Joseph College, Trichy. In 1942 he joined the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore as a student in the electrical engineering department however under the influence of C V Raman he shifted to physics he obtained his MSc and then his PhD in 1947 under Raman's supervision he then went to the Cavendish laboratory Cambridge and obtained his second PhD degree under professor Wooster He returned to India in 1949 and joined Indian Institute of Science Bangalore as an assistant professor. In 1952 at the young age of 30 he moved to Madras as the head of the physics department at the University of Madras. On the suggestion of J D Bernal the crystallographer and the chemist who visited the university in 1952 he started work on determining the structure of the protein collagen the fibrous protein found in skin bone and tendon based on the limited data available at that time in 1954 he proposed along with gopinath kharat the triple helix structure for collagen later revised in the light of new data to coiled coils structure for biomolecule structure for biomolecules this was a fundamental advance in the understanding of biomolecular structures he and his colleague c ramakrishna and v sesakaran went on to develop methods to examine and assess structures of biomolecules in particular peptides in 1963 This resulted in famous Ramachandran map which is an indispensable tool in the study of molecular structures today. His contribution in the field of x-ray crystallography such as anomalous dispersion, new kinds of Fourier synthesis and x-ray intensity statistics are also extremely important. His 1971 paper with A.V. Lakshmi Narayanam He his 1971 paper with A V Lakshmi Narayan on three dimensional image reconstruction was to have important applications in computer assisted tomography. In 1971 Ramachandran returned to Bangalore to set up the molecular biophysics unit at the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore which is today a major research center. He was elected fellow of the royal society in 1977 and was awarded the shanti sharoop bhatnagar award in 1999 the international union of crystallography awarded him the prestigious award prize which is given only once in 3 years he was the editor of current science between 1950 and 1957 thank you